Get it a shot stopper. Ah, it's been superb, superb. Do you feel like the last season and a half has been potentially the best of your career form-wise? Oh, yeah, most definitely. This past year and a half has been, uh, you know, a highlight in my career so far. What's it like when you're on top of your game like that? Oh, look, it's good. You know, it's massive. And, you know, to try and win the team as many points as possible, you know, it's, uh, it's a good feeling to have. But in saying that, you know, life's great. Um, you know, I've got a young family. They're happy here on the coast. I've got two young kids. And, yeah, just everything's falling into place at the moment. And Durigan, he saves it. Gets the right way. Told the boys, stop, stop tripping people over in the box. And we don't have to make him the hero every week. How good is he? Oh, terrible. <laughs> nah, he's amazing, man. He's, um, you know, you can you can see his quality the last, you know, well, since I've came in, I've impressed him. Like, he should should be playing at a higher level, probably, and he obviously should be called up for the Socceroos as well. It's disappointing, you know, I feel like personally I've been the best goalkeeper in the league for the past two seasons and to not get a look in, look, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, I'm professional and, you know, there's nothing else much I can do, really. Disappointed for him, for whatever reason, they've, they've, they've looked past him. Yeah, I think it's unfair, yeah, no doubt he thinks it's unfair, but a lot of things in life are unfair. You know, I'm pretty sure that, that he will get back in at some point. You know, I respect everyone involved in the national team and what they're doing, and hopefully, like I said, in the future, you know, I get that call up, you know, because I do want to get back in the system. That Premier League experience at, at Swansea, um, how did that shape your career? You know, going over there had a fantastic experience, you know, learning off one of the top goalkeepers in the Premier League and Lucas Fabianski, um, you know, who I'm very close with. Looking back at it now, you know, obviously I'm a bit older now and a bit more experienced. It probably wasn't the best move for my career. I was young at the time and all I wanted to do was play football and you know, had the opportunity to, to go to, go experience uh, the Dutch football and the, the Dutch league and massive opportunity. It was a great experience. It was a tough one. You know, us younger boys don't realise, you know, how, lu how lucky you know, we've, we've got it here. Obviously, you know, it, it's tough. You know, I was 25 years of age. You know, and that was my first real crack at European football and, uh, you know, it was challenging, obviously, fighting relegation battles and not being able to, you know, leave your apartment and, you know, getting threats and, yeah, it was tough. Is that a goal for you to, to go back there and give it another crack? Most definitely, you know, I definitely want to give it a crack, you know, overseas, whether it's Europe, Asia, Middle East, um, you know, I'm open to it, but like I said, I've got a job at hand and that's to, you know, finish off the season here with the Mariners and push for the finals and, uh, you know, if we can make the finals, anything can happen.